is just about 7 o'clock. Thank you for being on time. There's a few more people that are going to be floating in here the next few minutes. We want to make sure that we respect that. You know, traffic wasn't great getting down here. So we'll start things promptly at 7.05. But thank you for being on time. We'll get started in just a few minutes. Thanks.
Greetings, everyone. My name is Brian Callanan. I am a proud Lancer Band dad, and I'm a volunteer with B Sharp, which is the parent booster club for Kennedy Catholic Performing Arts. What does B Sharp do? Well, when the kids need pizza before a concert, which was delicious, by the way, uh, we're the group that helps provide that. Also, when they need their concert streamed online, we're the parents there to help, and we are online tonight. Hello, you want to wave to everybody out there in the uh, online audience if you want to. They're right back there. There we go. We're really glad that you could join us too, everyone. So a big thanks from B Sharp and all of our students. We are so glad you could join us in person and online for tonight's Christmas concert. To begin, Father Jim Northup, our school chaplain, is going to lead us in prayer. Father Jim. Spirit. Lord, we just want to take a moment and give you thanks and praise for the gift of music, a universal language that touches our hearts and souls, and we know there's music in heaven. For in Revelation it says they sang the song of Moses. So we just ask you to bless our talented musicians here tonight, to send forth the Holy Spirit to anoint them, that we may give you thanks and praise for this special season of Advent as we prepare our hearts to welcome you. And we just thank and praise you for all of our Kennedy Catholic family. We pray for everyone, especially anyone who's struggling in any way. We ask all these things with great confidence through Christ our Lord. Amen. All right. Well, with no further ado, we're going to get things started here. And we're looking forward to a great, great night tonight. We're going to start things off with the jazz band under the direction of instrumental music director Dan Ruder. Let's welcome him on the stage with a big round of applause, the jazz band, everyone.
Solos on that piece by uh, Colin Vale on tenor saxophone. <laughs> uh, Fernando Racinos on guitar. <laughs> and by Isaiah Cantor on drums. <laughs> and then you'll notice an extra special guest in the trombone section, uh, Mr. Gerald Larkins. Kennedy Catholic alum of what year, Mr. Larkins? Uh, class of 80. Class of 80, 
For some of our students, this is the first time in two years they've actually been able to perform in a live, in-person concert. So we wanted to celebrate that tonight by having a few students offer their thoughts on what this event means to them and maybe a little bit about what they're thankful for this holiday season. So please help me welcome up onto the stage Danny Arroyo Sanchez, a junior who is in orchestra, and Johnny No, a sophomore in concert band. Let's bring them up here. You hear it? There we are. Oh, sorry, Johnny. Where'd Danny run off to? Is Danny here? Oh, Danny's not gonna be here? That's too bad. Well, Johnny, it's all you, buddy. What do you got? Uh, good evening, parents, grandparents, teachers, and performers. My name is Johnny, and I'm part of the music and arts program here at Kennedy Catholic High School. I have been a part of both the concert band and Lancer Jazz Band for almost two years now. And if there's anything that I've learned from being a part of this music program, is that music brings unity. Now, I want all you all to think about what music truly is and what it means to you. Music can be found anywhere in the world and in many cultures. But why? What makes music so significant that makes it so popular in our world? It is because music is universal. There are several thousands of cultures and languages in the world today, and yet music is the only language that anyone can understand. Music has a way of speaking to all of us, no matter what culture we come from, and it is music that brings us all together. Tonight, people of all ages are all gathered here to enjoy the music that we hear yearly to celebrate Christmas, us performers have spent hours together to prepare the music that are going to be performed tonight. Music is powerful and inclusive, and that is what the music program here at Kennedy Catholic has taught me. We may be different, but it is music that has the power to bring us all together. Thank you. Come on, can you stay there for a second? I just wanted to ask you real quick about this night. You haven't performed in front, of a, in front of a live audience for a long time. What does it feel like tonight to do that? Uh, me personally, I have performed in uh, large audiences quite often. So right. for me, I was a little bit nervous, but not as nervous as some of my peers tonight. Sure, sure, sure. And, and let us know what it's been like when you were having to do music classes virtually and all that kind of thing. Yeah. That was pretty rough. Uh, can, I, can you tell us about that? Yeah, so last year, um, we had to learn band via Zoom, which was very tough because yeah. our band instructor was conducting us with nothing, nothing to hear to. So. Right, right. Oh, man. And just about tonight, anything else you wanted to say to the group here? These are people who haven't been able to show up for a couple years a year. Anything else you wanted to say to this crowd out here or anyone out there virtually? Yeah. Uh, on behalf of the Kennedy Catholic Arts Pro Music and Arts Program, um, we are happy that you guys are here, and we are excited to... Let, we are excited to let you guys hear what we have for you tonight. All right. Johnny Mill, give it up for Johnny one more time. Thanks a lot, bud. Appreciate it. All right, you jump back in there. And we're going to see what's next on the program here. Johnny, great to hear from you there. It was great to hear from the jazz band, too. So coming up, we're going to be bringing on our next piece here. So we're going to be hearing from some more students, actually, as our night progresses here. But we're going to come back to the stage here with our next, uh, next group coming on which would be Dan Ruder and the Kennedy Catholic Orchestra. So I believe the orchestra is in the process of coming on. Can we bring them on here? There they are, great. This is the chamber orchestra coming on in here, so we'll hear from them in just a moment as our crew moves this beautiful piano out of the way, thank you. But thanks for being here, chamber orchestra. We'll get started here in just a moment. Piano adjustments, a very important part of the part of the jam here. There we go. All right, once again, the chamber orchestra, give them a big round of applause. Thank you.
solo by Chase Brock and Bro.
first violin solo by Ray Williams. Second violin solo by Chase Broken Bro. All Night Viola Solos by Kai Wakura. And All Night Cello Solos by Leah Kanazawa. Thank you. One more time, the Chamber Orchestra, beautiful work. Thank you so much. All right, we're gonna let this group clear off again and we'll transition one more time here. Uh, the Kennedy Singers are coming up next, and I can't wait to hear that. But before we do, we wanted to hear from a few more students about their experience in performing arts, what this night means to them. Please help me, if you would, in welcoming Elaine Shioyama and Fu Wen to the stage. Elaine, Fu, are you there? Um, Elaine, why don't you go first? Jump right up there. And I just uh, ask people that you're a senior. I know this is your last Christmas concert here, and I think this means a lot to you. So make sure you tell the crowd all about it, please. Hello everyone, my name is Elaine, and I have been in the music program at Kennedy for four years. I started in the concert band my freshman year, and then I decided to start singing, and so I joined the Kennedy Singers. I then um, auditioned for Excalibur the next year, but unfortunately, because of COVID, I was online. But Mrs. Brown helped us to become better singers through many things. Like, we worked with um, two famous composers, Jim Papoulis, and Francisco Nunez, and we also worked on solos where we like sang in our own homes, and um, she gave us feedback on those. Elaine, thank you very much. Uh, Fu, why don't I have you come up here too? Could you talk to us a little bit about your experience in the music program? Maybe what inspired you to get involved with it? Because I know it's something that means a lot to you. You sing Excalibur with Elaine here, which is really cool. Let us know about what is it? What drives you? What inspires you about this program? Uh, this is my third year at Kennedy Catholic and also my third year in choir and something one of my favorite parts of choir is going to the festival of choirs which is held in February where we have all of our Catholic high schools choirs um, around the area sing at Ben Royal Hall and we have a special composer um, for example my freshman year we had Jim Papoulis um, it was just a really great experience singing with all of the other high schools. And something that inspired me to join choir was actually my brother, who's an alumni here at Kennedy, um, graduated in 2018. His name is Dewey. Um, it was a great experience for me to join choir, and I'm thankful for my brother because joining choir was really exciting and becoming friends with a bunch of new people. And um, yeah. That's right. Hey, Phil, Elaine, come back up here one more time. I just want to make sure you give them a big round of applause. These are the students that are really driving the program here. It's really great to hear from you. Thanks very much for sharing that with us. Thanks a lot. All right, I, mean, I know you guys got to get up there to sing, so jumping back and getting ready for your performance here. We are going to welcome to the stage at this point the Kennedy Singers under the direction of Lindsey Brown. Let's bring them on out here.
beautiful work there by the Kennedy Singers. This is not a long transition, I know, as we work to get Excalibur on the stage here. We're going to hear from a number of singing groups tonight, and we'll have a number of uh, acts after our intermission, which is coming up in just a little bit. But a big thanks to Lindsey Brown and the Choral Music Program for being involved with us here this evening. And I believe at this point we can bring out the crew. Are they ready back there, Lindsey? I wanted to make sure we brought out the group from Excalibur. Are you guys ready to go? Excalibur? Coming once, there they are. Give it up for Excalibur coming out on stage. Thank you.
to have an amazing accompanist in our friend Denise. And she will hate me for doing this, but I'm going to ask her to stand again uh, to acknowledge um, all the madness that she deals with on a regular basis with us. Um, and she also plays at St. Francis, so if you recognize the back of her head, that might be why. Um, so thank you, Denise. We cannot do some of these songs without you. Um, uh, our next tune takes a very, um, probably like the most Catholic uh, hymn that you hear, which is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, during the season of Advent. And it combines it with what's called the O Antiphons. These are old, old chants from like the ninth century or something like that. They're very old. And um, one of the cool things um, that I got to do, and I was so excited last weekend, to go see the person who used to do my job direct his choir concert. It was exciting. He's the director of the Northwest Chamber Chorus. And they did this song, and I was so excited to hear them do this piece. Um, and one of the things he pointed out was, um, that I think is noteworthy is, is you'll hear quis veniet, quis veniet, and so the choir is singing, who will come, who will come? And this is kind of this angsty, like really dissonant kind of thing, right? Who's gonna come? And you hear this super high note that says, ero cross, I will come. And it's the voice of heaven. So there's this really cool dialogue going on um, between um, what, what humanity seeks and what God wants to bring us. So this is uh, Veni Emmanuel. Thank you. 
beautiful work, beautiful work from Excalibur. Give him one more round of applause. Isn't that great? What a great performance. Denise, thank you very much for your accompaniment. Great work there. Lindsay will be taking her group off stage here, and it's just about time for intermission here, folks. So I wanted to make sure that uh, I let you know about that because uh, we have a lot more coming up in the second half, of course. But during intermission, I'd like everybody to make sure you head out in the lobby there. There's a lot of great stuff out there, some new performing arts swag. You might have seen some of the sweatshirts and T-shirts on your way in. Make sure you grab some of that. Some gift baskets, some raffle tickets, too. And we will see you back here in about 10 minutes. Thanks for being here to celebrate Kennedy's Christmas concert, everybody. See you at the lobby.
really wanted people to see this, so let's make sure we get everybody in here. Thanks once again to Highline Performing Arts Center for doing a great job at hosting us here tonight. Can we give them a big round of applause? Just two guys together, no thanks. Really appreciate everybody doing the work here to make this into something special. Kennedy High School and all of our families here. So uh, we're just about to get started, so please do come in. We want to make sure we get everybody in here. This is a really special part of our show. We are able to talk to a number of different students uh, about this evening, about the support that they get from parents like you, from groups like B Sharp, and we wanted everybody to know about it. So we're going to have the percussion ensemble come up here in just a little bit. But before we do, we wanted to talk about another reason why we are here tonight, and that is supporting the performing arts uh, during what has been a difficult time, certainly for all of us, but definitely for performing arts and B Sharp in particular. So over the past 21 months, during the pandemic, of course, B Sharp has not been able to hold its annual book sale, which you might be familiar with. It's a key, key fundraiser for us. We haven't been able to do it. And that has created some big challenges when it comes to supporting students, especially with events that cost a little bit more, like retreats, which are starting to come back online now. So that's something that we're very aware of here. So tonight we are asking for your help. And I'm going to explain how you can help and how you can support the students here in just a little bit. But first we wanted to show you more about why you're giving. And for that, I'm gonna let the students tell the story about what your support means to them. I think of it as an outlet for me, for my creativity outside of the classroom. I think what I really love is like when we have performances and we have these moments where it's like what we've been working for for all this time really pays off. Retreats, that's honestly my favorite part of being part of the band, choir, orchestra, guard program. I remember um, my freshman year, we did a, like a singing contest. It was, it was, we were in teams, it was really fun, and I just remember all these upperclassmen cheering me on, and like I had never felt like that before in high school, and that was really special to me. There are games that you play, they're called the Lancer Olympics, and they're a whole lot of fun, where you get into groups, and then you just play against each other and try and uh, win. It was just really fun getting to know everyone in like, the music department, knowing that we all make music for this awesome school. It just really helps us connect and be more of an ensemble group rather than individual performers playing their own pieces. It is a bonding experience, but it's more of like, it's like showing that we're family in a more, in a greater way. We're a family. Band is a family. B Sharp has provided the opportunity for all of us in the performing arts at Kennedy and beyond to experience what making music sounds like as high schoolers. And that's an opportunity I won't get anywhere else. Well, B Sharp is amazing. I would like to thank them for just always showing up whenever they can to help out and just, just being there to support us. I think a lot of the band doesn't really understand the, the, the importance of B Sharp just because they're doing so much that we don't realize. The Lancer family have, has always had a very great support system for our performing arts, and which is uh, a really great thing. If B Sharp wasn't there, I know that there would be a lot of tired kids on those parade routes and a lot of hungry people at those football games. Honestly, really cool for the kids to kind of bond with their parents over that. I just want to say thank you so much to B Sharp. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do all the things we do. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart.
there you have it. Yeah, that's, uh, we have a lot of well-spoken students here at Kennedy, don't we, that can really explain what this means to them. So I, I really hope that that hammered it home for you here. Our performing arts is a great program here at Kennedy. It gets a lot of great support from the school, but B-Sharp has always been there to enhance that, to make events like the retreats. You saw a few photos up there, try to make those events really, really special for our students. So we have a goal to try to raise $20,000 tonight with everybody that's here, the people that are online too. That's about what it costs for, to pay for a year's worth of retreats. And we have a few ways you can help. First off, bring in the supermodels. Where are they? Sharice, Ava, are you back there? Oh, there they are. Ladies and gentlemen, just got off their contract with Givenchy. They're here to show off the excellent swag that we have. Now we've got the sweatshirts and we have the t-shirts. Pretty cool, right? I mean, give it up for our supermodels here. This is awesome, right? How cool is that? Thank you very much for modeling that for us. So a few of you I know have purchased some of this swag here tonight. Thank you very much. That's gonna help us out a lot. If you bought some raffle tickets also, thank you very much and stick around. We're gonna have a drawing at the end of the evening here to see if you've won. If you have purchased a gift basket, that's really gonna help too. But we are asking everyone now to consider donating some dollars directly to support our students here. If we can pull together tonight, we can get people online out there to help too. We would really appreciate that. We're gonna get there. So for the in-person crowd, you might have noticed on the back of your program there where it says support our students, there's a little QR code there. If you can scan that QR code, you can get to the site that allow you that will allow you to give. It's called Greater Giving. Kennedy uses this all the time. It's a site that we can use to help uh, garner some dollars. If you are watching the live stream at home, you can grab up your smartphone and check out the QR code that I believe is on your screen right now. If you're having any sort of trouble with that, or if you're having trouble in the audience too, just head to this website kennedyhs.info slash christmas kennedyhs.info slash christmas and we have a couple of donation levels that we are asking for your support with if you can hit the high note that's what we're naming our top level here at five hundred dollars we would love to get that and i've just heard word from mr Ruder and miss brown that if we get someone who can donate at that five hundred dollar level they will come over to your house and sing a personal christmas concert for you so I, this is the good stuff here. I'm talking about any carol you want here uh, from Jingle Bells on down. If you can donate at the Hit the High Note $500 level, we'd love to have that. Can you be a Lancer leader? That's our $250 level out there. I heart the arts. Do you heart the arts? Well, that's our $100 level there. And can you be a B-sharp buddy? Who's your friend? Who's your buddy? You can do that at the $50 level. So those are the different levels we have. There's also an entry for any amount you'd like. And seriously, any amount would be great. We're looking for any and all amounts here. We want to encourage as much participation as possible. And I believe some people have given already. I'm going to see if I can garner up some of the notes here because all these people are starting to donate as we speak here. Some of our top donors so far, we have Kelly and John donating $250. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you, Kelly and John. That's very cool. Uh, Dan and Laura for $250. They're the, they're the Lancer leaders out there. Love to hear it. Uh, we have a donation from Land for $100. Nice work, Land. That's great. And then... Kathleen, I think she might have made a mistake. She put in $2,500, which would have been awesome, but I think she actually meant 50, which is fine. That's totally fine. 50 times 50 equals 2,500. Now you know, Kathleen. Uh, but thank you very much, Kathleen, for $50. That's great, all right? So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go back to the Greater Giving website a little bit later on in the evening here to see who else is giving, because we really want to encourage that. Please, now is the time. Grab up that smartphone, make that donation right now. We would really appreciate it. Be sharp, would appreciate it. And this is how we're gonna to get to the funding we need to support events like retreats. So, we're gonna check in on that in a little bit. We really appreciate the support of B-Sharp, supporting our students and making their experience so much more meaningful. Thanks again to Sharice and Ava, our wonderful supermodels here, if you would. Exit stage right even, stage left, there you go. We're gonna get back to the show right now, and to do that, we're gonna bring on Dan Ruder and the Percussion Ensemble for an original composition by the members of the class. So, bring them on out. Here's the Percussion Ensemble.
That was awesome. Now that uh, Dan Ruger tried to explain what was going on there. What was that, Dan? Well, that was called A Trashy Christmas. <laughs> um, the beats were composed by the class. Um, and the mallet quartet was composed or arranged really by our percussion coach, uh, Mr. Eric Parchin. Um, and so together we all collaborated as a class and came up with a trashy Christmas. So hope you enjoy. Good job. That was some great work there. Thank you very much. One more time for the percussion ensemble. That's beautiful. Alright, the concert band is on next, but uh, before we bring that group on, I wanted to bring up to the stage, if I could, uh, Lindsey Brown, our choir director, and if Lindsey, there she is, give it up for Lindsey Brown, come on, jump on up here, Lindsey. You can grab that mic there. I just wanted to have you explain to the crowd a little bit what it's like from a teacher perspective, from a choir director's perspective to have gone through the last year and a half, almost two years now, coming through the pandemic and what it means to be here tonight. This is a lot for you. Uh, it's super exciting, and because um, the last year I just couldn't do what I love to do and what I've been trained to do. Um, but we, we did other things. Um, we learned lots of other skills last year. I felt like last year I was able to really get to know kids' individual voices and really like assess like their their, their uh, mathematical part of their musicianship. And it's made this group stronger. Um, but it's so great to, to go on tours and, and get a picture with Santa and, um, and just to, to breathe together, you know? We know that singing together is, um, it releases those endorphins, those, those feel good hormones in your body. And, um, and we're starting to get there, even if we have these on. It's okay. That's right. That's right. And I wanted to explain to people out there too, and people who might be watching at home who aren't familiar with it, B Sharp, I joined this group because I wanted to volunteer and help out my daughter, and we've been able to do some of that during COVID time here. This is the first time though, I feel like we've really been, really been able to dive in. Can you give everybody a, an idea of what B Sharp really is all about and how it helps out students and how it supports them? Yeah, B Sharp was started many years ago um, because there's so many different needs for support. When we take these kids places, um, that simply the, the director can't do alone very well, right? Um, and so over the years, they've been chaperones on retreats. They have uh, fed our children many times, um, but also they've helped with like hemming dresses and with helping um, on, on bus trips, like when we go do overnight things and there's a kid who's sick, I've had chaperones be able to take care of that so that we're free to make the music with the kids and they have that kind of anchor spot um, of the person who's helped plan the logistics is still there and also their friend gets taken care of when we need it. And, and we couldn't do it without that support. It's huge. And I appreciate you saying that. And it, I think it's a great way to get different families involved. And we have a lot of families here tonight. Some are in B-Sharp, I know. Some are not out there. I know there's a few out there. Oh, we but wait, Ryan. Well, what? what what's because going on? if you have a student that is on the stage, you are just automatically a Oh, here we go. <laughs> that's the way that works, okay? So uh, that's, that's the way it is. And, yeah. and so you're invited to, to be involved at whatever level you're yeah. to be yeah. involved. Yeah. And I did want to say that a lot of people have been giving uh, just within the past few minutes, which has been awesome to see. They're starting to light up here. You have a Christmas caroling concert in your future because I believe there's at least one person, maybe even two, who have donated at the $500 level. So your dance, your dance card is starting to fill up there, okay. Ms. Brown. Okay. I, I did want to say just uh, your thoughts for parents out there who have been supporting the band who might be supporting tonight with a financial gift. I know that means a lot, uh, and I just wanted to get your thoughts about that. What yeah, that it really does. The school has been amazing at supporting our programs, and just understand that, like us being here, just renting this amazing space, the school covers that sort of stuff. And so these are just supplemental things for the students um, that really change that experience. Like you saw in the video of like being together, all that stuff, all those extra things are kind of the things where we go, okay. You know, the school has covered, you know, the, the trip or the, the entry fee or all of that, but um, the extra stuff that B Sharp does 
really enriches the experience for all of our kids. Um, it's awesome. So thank you to those of you that are helping us out. We really do appreciate that. It means a lot. Give it up one more time for Legend Brown. Thank you so much. It's great to have you here. Thanks everyone for supporting her and all the great performing arts here at Kennedy. So remember, use that QR code on the back of your program if you haven't already. Again, any amount you can donate would be great. And you can go to kennedyhs.info slash Christmas if you'd like to donate in that way too. Um, I'd love to check on what our giving is now if we have close to any sort of a tally. Wow, Ooh, we've got a few people that, let me just make sure I get some of these names here because a few people have actually donated at the $500 level. So we've got... Uh, We've got quite a few out there. Wow, okay. Uh, looks like Michael, Brian, and Noel, and Jerry all donating at $500. That is awesome. Thank you to all of you. Looks like you got, looks like you got three Christmas concerts coming through with you, Mr. Rivers. That's going to be great. Also, a big shout out to Ginger and Sean at the $100 level, and Karen and Keone. Can we give them a big round of applause? That's awesome. That is so great. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to work on getting a closer tally of some of the numbers that we're getting in here over the next few minutes, but I really appreciate all those donations. Again, please do keep them coming in. It's a big part of what we do here at B-Sharp in terms of supporting our kids. So now, would you believe it, it is time for the concert band under the direction of Dan Reuter. And can we bring him out here, Dan? Are we ready to go? Bring on the concert band. Here we go.
A terrific performance. Can you give it up one more time for this group out here? It's beautiful. Beautiful work for a concert band. Thank you very much. All right, as we wait for the symphonic man to come up here, I wanted to bring uh, Sharice Bale back to the stage. I think Sharice is around here somewhere. So you might remember her as one of our supermodels from a little bit earlier on the evening. Sharice, where'd you go? There she is. Maybe you can fight your way through there. Now, Sharice is also on the board of B Sharp. And Sharice, I wanted to get your take on what these retreats mean to our students because I think this is something you're really aware of and you wanted to share that with the group out here. So please do. And uh, band parent to Colin, tenor saxophone player, and Preston, uh, percussionist. And uh, the students had an opportunity this year to attend an in-person, multi-day um, retreat. And it turned out to be just a great couple of days for them. The senior leaders got together and put together just an amazing setting for these students and activities for them that were um, small activities. Um, active but engaging, uh, super fun, but very non-threatening for even the shyest of students. And it was just really great to see a lot of the students kind of come out of their shell. Um, my role at the event mostly was just to kind of sit back and get to know the students and uh, watch them take on new leadership roles with the games that they were playing and really watch some of the quietest students find themselves a little bit and come out of their shell and really start to show talents that you would never really see in a classroom setting. And so that was really kind of fun to watch and be a part of. Um, gosh. Yeah, it, it sounds like it was, it, it was a lot to take in. I'm, I'm so glad you were there, but I guess just the impact on the students, and I think that's what we're getting at here tonight. Yep. The people that are helping us donate, uh, are helping us support the band, thank you for your donations out there. Just your message to these people who are helping, this is clearly something that helps out the band and helps out all these students very much. Absolutely, and it was, it was nice to watch the seniors take a lead and watch some of the freshmen come out of their shell and, and see that opportunity that was ahead of them. So um, where I wasn't um, real big on understanding what the retreat was all about without instruments, um, I walked away from there really convinced that these are the types of events that are really integral for building a cohesive um, performing arts program. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you very much, Therese. Can we give her a big round of applause? Thanks a lot. I appreciate you sharing that. And again, I appreciate everybody who's been donating here tonight. I'm looking at a couple more of these numbers here. I wonder if we can bring these up here. Uh, this one, I want to make sure that I get this tally right because I think... Uh, we're just at about, oh boy, I think we're just, we're really close to $4,500, everybody. Give yourselves a big round of applause. That's awesome. I know I said that we were trying to uh, top uh, $20,000 tonight. We're going to get there little by little. I know we're, uh, we're working on this. This is the first time we've done this within a Chris Prince concert. But I really appreciate everybody rolling with it and giving. Uh, we had some great gifts here. Uh, Megan for $250 and Heather for $250. A big, a big old shout, big round of applause for them. Thank you. Oh, and wait a minute, Bob at the $500 level. Give it up for Bob, that's great. I think we're gonna have to arrange some sort of concert at somebody's house for this $500 deal. Uh, also, Marnie and Jenny at the $100 level. Give them a big shout out, that's awesome. And Jory and Susan, B-Sharp Buddies at the $50 level. Give them a big shout out too. All right. Thanks everybody for donating again if you could. It's on that Support Our Students QR code there. We'd love to get a few more donations before the night is through. But at this point, it is time to bring the symphonic band to the stage under the direction of Dan Ruder. Is the symphonic band ready? Can you guys come on out? Pretty please. Yes, they can. All right, the Symphonic Band. Check them out, everyone. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you.
So watching stuff move is uh, always the most interesting part, right, of a concert. But that's why we have all these extra chairs out here is because the finale happens after this number. I don't want to give it away, but it's in the program. Um, so, um, so yeah, we have all these extra chairs up because we're going to feature all of the ensembles, uh, and it's really, really cool. Uh, so please stand by. We'll be momentarily, or ready momentarily. down south there with that that one, little New Orleans sound. I dig it. So uh, we are going to have, uh, well, the big finale is coming up, isn't it, Mr. Reuter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let this group sit down because we've got a bunch more kids that are coming up here and joining us, which is going to be great. And in the meantime, as that group comes out here, I'm going to make sure we bring up Barbara Clark. Where is she? Barbara, are you out there? The president of B Sharp. Paging Barbara Clark, are you around here? Because I want to make sure, there she is. Let's have her run onto the stage here. She has the all-important job of making sure we get that raffle ticket figured out here. So, Barbara, we want to jump on over here. And uh, why don't you scooch right by here. I'll kind of trade places with you. And you can tell people what's going on here. 
and uh, scooch on through there. Give it up for Barbara Clark here. She's the president of B Sharp. She does a lot of work. Barbara, want to thank you for your leadership of the group. And I know you wanted to thank a few people too here tonight. I do. Thank you so much for joining us this evening um, in person and via the live stream. And I can also say that it's just such an honor to be part of this organization um, and working with the people that, that do such great, great work with the students and to be able to support this group of talent behind me here. We not only support the band and choir programs, we support the theater arts and um, the other arts classes as well, and the color guard. And so we've, we've got a wide range of programs that we support. And we don't do it without help from all of you by donating and by uh, purchasing our merchandise, purchasing our raffle tickets. I also want to give a, a big thank you to all of our volunteers, whether you volunteered once with us or you're among that group that just keeps coming back for more. Thank you so much. And also to the B-Sharp board, a group of incredibly talented and creative people. We meet about once a month unless we have something like this going on, then we meet about once a week. And they put in a lot of time and creative energy um, to make efforts like this um, happen. And then also a huge thank you to the fine arts faculty for bringing out the best in our students and allowing them a platform where they can share their talents. And then to the school administration who helps support B-Sharp so that we can help support our students and all the programs here. So again, thank you so much. And let's get on with the raffle. And I'm yeah. uh, going to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll, gonna shake, I'll shake it a little bit here, Barbara. You can get that hand in there. You guys got your raffle tickets ready? Let's see what we got. All right, she's not looking, I promise. And then, Can't and then see a thing. We've, we've got my fine volunteers, I think, up here again with... Uh, with some with of the, the baskets. baskets. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. So the first one we're gonna do is the Kraken-themed basket. Ooh, oh, thank good. you for bringing up the house lights so yep. people can see their tickets. Thank you very much. All right. And the number is 8742483. Yay! Hey, we got a big winner back there. Yay! Maybe we can find you towards the end of the evening there. Would that be all right? Or do you, you want to run down here? Yeah, well, have, have, a, have a quick walk down here. Why not? Yeah, that's right. We got a big winner. Here she comes. Queen of the universe. Let's get her that cracking basket, shall we? All right. Did you buy 70 of them? How many tickets did you get? Okay, all right. Really well done. Thank you very much. All right, big winner right there of our cracking basket. What else we got? Now we have the New Year's Eve themed basket. Ooh, this one sounds like trouble. It's got, I think, champagne in there and a lot of chocolate and good stuff. Okay. All right, here's the number. 874-2535. Two, five, three, five. Anybody out there? Ooh. Who left it in a measure? Wait, no, we have a winner. All right. Someone's celebrating New Year's Eve early. I love it. Got that? Raffle basket coming down. All right, thank you. Thank you again, everyone. Gro Whoa, hey, easy there. That's a lot of good bubbly in there. Take care of that, would you? All right, party at her place right afterwards. Okay, thank you very much, everybody, for taking part in this. And I wanted to make sure, I think that Mr. Reuter wanted to say a couple words before we got up out of here. I'm sorry, Barbara Clark, thank you once again. Barbara Clark, our president of B-Sharp. Thank you for that. Thank you for your kind words. Uh, Mr. Reuter, did you, there he is. Squeeze on through here. What did you want to say? We have so many people out here that have been giving tonight. I did want to mention a lot of people have been giving with that QR code or at kennedyhs.info info slash Christmas, which is awesome. We've raised close to $6,000 tonight, Mr. Reuter, which is really cool. Give yourselves a big round of applause. That's awesome. When you throw in all the merchandise and so forth, we're getting very close to $10,000. So great work, everybody out there. Great work, Mr. Reuter. What did you want to say to the crowd? Well, first of all, thank you for your support, for showing up here tonight, for uh, financial support, obviously, um, for signing in online. I know that one of our students is halfway across the world right now, and I know she's watching. So, Arwa, thank you for watching. We miss you. 
Um, there's there's um, just lots of gratitude I have in my heart for all of you. You have such wonderful children, and it's my privilege to teach them. And um, and I just love working with them so much. And it's great that we can now be back here two years later. Uh, you know, not even after all of this, but you know, working through all of this. Um, you know, pandemic and, and, and learning how to do music in different ways. And um, I think we've all learned a lot through this process. And, um, and you have stuck by your students, you know, listening to them sing and practice and play drums in the house on Zoom while you're trying to have a meeting. Like, I know, right? Um, so, so I sent trumpet mutes home with some people, tuba mutes home, you know, things to help. So, and, and you know, because of you, though, we're able to be successful. And I just want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And our music is dedicated to all of you this evening. So uh, up next is the big finale, Mr. Callanan. I'll grab that and jump around here. And thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Dan Reuter. There's so much hard work here for all the groups. So the combined music finale is coming up next. Thank you to everybody for coming. Thank you to everybody who's donated to the event tonight. We've raised close to $6,000 because of people like you. Give yourselves a big round of applause for that because that's awesome. 
Really cool. We've gotten a few great gifts within the last couple of minutes here. Vanit giving at the $100 level. We had Sharon, $300. Lori at Klaus giving $250, which is excellent. I just wanted to say thank you for that. We're going to keep that website open until the end of the month, kennedyhs.info slash Christmas, so you can donate there. I wanted to make sure I thank Live Oak Audiovisual. You guys rocked it back there. Big thanks to uh, Jennifer, Dave, Ryan, and Chris. Awesome. The Highline Performing Arts Center, uh, Amy and JC, if you're still up there, thanks, man. Great work. Appreciate it. And also, a lot of great volunteers from B Sharp out there, especially Laura Warnbrock. She's been doing some great work back there to make this event happen. Cool. All right. Again, that donation link will stay open until the end of the year, and we're also going to have a link to the stream version of the show, so you can send it to the grandparents, or when and when they might have missed it, but we'd love to have everybody see this. And uh, Merry Christmas to all.